The offenso accrue from Achimampunia and Swami local assemblies are among areas where the trend has been discovered. Chief executive officers, coordinating directors and finance officers in the affected areas are being held responsible for the missing receipt books. Ashanti Regional Minister Simon Osemensa says the Regional Coordinating Council is awaiting a report of an investigation committee for the appropriate action to be taken. Really, we've even interdicted some people. Uh, there was a committee in place investigating some of them, the very serious one. The, uh, we have a committee that is investigating. At the end of the committee's report, then we will know the next action to take. If there's a need for us to dismiss some of them, we will do that. If there's a need maybe to report to local government service to take certain action, we do that. You know, uh, those under finance, that's the finance officers, they are all under controller and accountant general. They are not local government staff. Yes. So at the end of the report, then we know the sanctions to apply. Nonetheless, all 43 MMDAs in the Ashanti region have submitted their first quarter financial statements. Three of them were returned for correction of errors. The assemblies generated over 24 million CDs out of a target of 26.5 million CDs, representing 92.7% of the target. 17 of the MMDAs exceeded their quarterly budget. Mr. Osei Mensah, who was satisfied with the performance, spoke about measures adopted to improve revenue mobilization. Last year, it was somewhere around 70%. And some or most of the assemblies had collected even less than 50%. But this year, there's significant improvement. Maybe it's the, the monitoring is a factor. Now we look at the financial statement. You know, they submit financial statement every month. And then I request the chief local government inspector to also give me a report on the financial statement. So I look at the assemblies and call them and say, you have to back up in this area. You have to back up in that area. That, this is one of the factors. The, my regional internal auditor is also doing very well and the budget officer is doing very well. So the monitoring has improved. We do both uh, external and internal monitoring. You know? Over 23.4 million cities were spent by the assemblies in the Ashanti region. The regional minister bemoaned some recurring audit issues, including non-deduction of VAT and other taxes. It has also come to the notice of the regional coordinating council that some re Caring audit issues are not being addressed by MMDs. These include the non-deduction of VAT and the, and the tax, and even when deducted, is not remitted. Payments made by assemblies are also not accounted for. Some assemblies are also refusing to hold audit committee meetings. The recent data collected shows a very abysmal picture, particularly at Offenso. Century East and Adansi North. I'm also informed that some MMDCs and MMMDCDs do not involve their internal auditors in the payment process, citing the use of the gift mix as an excuse. The general meeting of the Ashanti Regional Coordinating Council deliberated on measures to develop local communities. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.